Okay, so I've just created my account. What do I do first? Let's get acquainted with the action bar. You can press Control K or click on it to activate it. From there, you can do things like create a table, go to chat or settings, and navigate to any existing app. Let's try creating a table first. Type create and search for the correct command. Okay. Oh, that was easy. What will I use this table for? Tables are how you start creating processes in Gestor. For example, if you wanted to create a CRM, you may need a deals table. All right, so how do I edit it? To build stuff, you'll need to activate the builder mode. That's where you go when you want to edit things. Let's see then. That's it. Hmm, okay. I'll try to edit the name of the table and add a total amount field. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Well, but let's say I don't want to build from scratch. What can I do? You can go to the template store and download a template with pre-made stuff. Let's try construction projects then. Cool, that's very handy. Can I edit it further? Yes, you can activate builder mode to edit or add new components and create new fields in the tables, just like you did before. Amazing. Hey, one thing I was wondering, are there any AI features? Tons of them. One thing you can do right now is go to chat and request something to Jester Builder, the platform's AI companion. Right, just ask for it and wait for Jester Builder to do it for you. Hmm, let's see. I want an app to keep track of payables and vendors. There it is. Oh, it's already pretty close to what I need. That's nice to hear. You can keep customizing it further now. The platform allows you freedom to explore and build things as you see fit. I can see that. Well, I'll test some more and get back to you if I have any questions. Sure, just let me know if I can help.